In case of C2, tighten the 16 screws, that is 4 screws of each of the 4, IGBTs as indicated, to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter, using the torque wrench. Take a look at the, illustration. It shows the tightening patterns, of IGBT4, C1. The conducting pads, on the gates, is removed, just before placing the wires, in turns. This precaution is made, in order to protect, the different modules. It should be noted that, while tightening a screw, to the set value in Newton meter, we should first tighten, until the screw head is flush, and then tighten the screws, to the required set value, that is 1.5 Newton meter in this case, using a torque wrench. After tightening, to a torque value of, 1.5 newton meter, finally you have to tighten, the screws to a torque value of, 3.5 newton meter using a torque wrench. Take a look at the, illustration. It shows the final tightening pattern, of the IGBT. That is, the torque pattern, of the IGBT, after it has been tightened, to a torque value of, 3.5 newton meter. Take a look at the illustration. It shows the tightening patterns of IGBT for C2. It should be noted that while tightening a screw to the set value in newton meter, we should first tighten until the screw head is flush and then tighten the screws to the required set value that is 1.5 newton meter in this case using a torque wrench. After tightening to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter, Finally you have to tighten, the screws to a torque value of, 3.5 newton meter using a torque wrench. Take a look, at the illustration. It shows the final tightening pattern, of the IGBT. That is, the torque pattern, of the IGBT, after it has been tightened to a torque value, of 3.5 newton meter. The next part, to be assembled, is the current sensor unit. But before assembling, the current sensor unit, you should plug in, the gate wires, for the IGBTs, and fix in, the bus bar unit, and terminal plate. First, plug in the gate wires, for the IGBTs. Let me, now list you out, the procedure to assemble, the bus bar unit. Start by, fixing the bus bar unit, and tightening the seven screws, of the bus bar unit, as indicated to a torque value of, 2.2 newton meter, using a torque wrench. Next connect the end, of the MK2 connector, blue wire, to the bus bar. Next, connect the bus bar cables, plus and minus, to the bus bar unit. Followed by, tightening the four screws, of the two, one microfarad, 1000 volts clamping capacitors, as indicated, to a torque value of, 2.2 newton meter, using a torque wrench. You have done, with the assembly of bus bar unit. Next, you have to assemble, the terminal plate. To fix, in the terminal plate. I shall list out to you, the steps to be followed. First, fix the terminal plate. Next, tighten the four screws, of the terminal plate as indicated, to a torque value of, 1.5 newton meter, using a torque wrench. Finally, fix in the two cables, to the brake IGBT, to a torque value of, 1.2 newton meter, using a torque wrench. Now, let me list out to you, the instructions that you need, to follow in order to assemble, the current sensor unit. Start of by fixing, the current sensor, to the three clips. Follow by, 
tightening the three screws of the current sensor PCB and connect it to the bus bars, as indicated, to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter using a torque wrench. Then fix in the connector MK1. Plug in the MK2 connector connected through a blue wire. Then tighten the three screws of the current sensor as indicated to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter using a torque wrench. Next, you have to mount the two shield plates and tighten the four screws of the two shield plates as indicated to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter using a torque wrench. Followed by tightening the screws of the brake cables to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter as indicated using the Allen keys and fix the brake cables. Next, tighten the screws of the DC plus and minus bus cables to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter as indicated using the Allen keys and fix the DC bus cables. Then tighten the screws of the motor cables U, V, W to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter as indicated using the Allen keys and fix the motor terminal cables. Finally, tighten the screws of the input line cables L1, L2, L3 to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter as indicated using the Allen keys and fix the input line cables. Now, you have done with the assembly of the current sensor unit. The next part to be assembled is the power card unit. Before assembling the power card unit, you should fix in the mounting plate. Before fixing the mounting plate, the terminal plastic cover should be fixed on the UDC plus and UDC minus terminals. For C1, tighten the four screws of the mounting plate as indicated to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter using a torque wrench. In case of C2, tighten the seven screws that is four screws of the mounting plate and three screws of the power card shield plate to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter as indicated using a torque wrench and fix in the power card shield plate. Now, let me list out to you the instructions that you need to follow in order to assemble the power card unit. First, push the power card in the direction as shown. Follow by fixing the power card to the five clips as indicated to hold the power card. Then, tighten the three screws of the power card as indicated to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter using a torque wrench. Next, connect the cables to the connectors MK1300, MK1400, MK1500, MK501. Then, connect the cable to the connector. MK900, UDC plus, UDC minus. Finally, connect the cables to the connectors. MK101, MK102, MK601, MK800, MK804, MK805. MK806. For C2, connect MK801 and MK807 as well. Now, you have assembled the power card unit. The next part to be assembled is the control card unit. But, before assembling the control card unit, you should fix the power card shield plate. 
Tighten the three screws of the power card shield plate, as indicated to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter, using a torque wrench. Now, let me list out to you, the instructions, that you need to follow, to assemble the control card unit. First, plug in the ribbon cable, to the power card. Then, tighten the four screws, as indicated to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter, using a torque wrench, to hold the control card unit. Now, you have assembled, the control card unit. After the assembly of the control card unit, you have to perform the static and dynamic tests. After passing the tests, you can replace the front cover. Place the front cover over the FC automation drive, C enclosure, and tighten the ATERX screws, as indicated, to a torque value of 2.0 newton meter using a torque wrench. Now you have assembled the front cover. With this, we come to the end of the assembly of FC Automation Drive C Enclosure. Hope you must have gained knowledge on how to assemble AFC Automation Drive C Enclosure.